Okay, good morning, Real Verde. Betts and Paul Evans were kind enough to stop by the tent today to talk about some of our new fitting clubs and to uh, ask a few questions and hit a few balls. So I'm standing here with Beth, and uh, Beth has a couple of questions she'd like to go forward with. Sure. Um, well, one, I was wondering about the new offset ones that some of the ladies are talking about because I hit a really low ball, and I wondered if that would help me. Absolutely. That's a great question. Um, we're talking about an offset driver or three wood or five wood, and that's where, in this particular case, the face of the club is slightly behind the shaft. That characteristic promotes a much higher ball flight, very easy to hit. A lot of folks really like offset. Cobra's been making them for many, many years. We have Cobra and Tour Edge available right now in the offset clubs. Great. What else are we gonna? Um, and then I was also wondering about, all of a sudden I've started shanking the ball. Wow, all of a sudden. <laughs> all of a sudden, Okay. and that's terrifying. That is terrifying. <laughs> that, that little shankopotamus comes around once in a while. Yes. And, and normally there's a reason for that, and usually the, the, the hosel of the club right here is leading the toe. So as you swing into the ball, the hosel is leading and gets to, the, gets to the ball much before the toe can come around and square up. The simplest way I think to fix that is simply to concentrate on the inside one third of the golf ball and make contact there rather than trying to hit the back or the top of the ball. So inside one third, make sure your weight's evenly distributed as well. Don't go on your toes. Okay. And then my other question is ball placement. So especially if I switch to offset, do I change the ball placement or where should the ball placement no, be? No, the ball placement would say the same with offset. The ball placement is an experiment nothing's standard nothing's right or wrong it's a matter of what works for you in your stance so normally people ask me and i say pitching wedge nine iron in the middle of my stance and as the clubs get longer you work the ball more towards your left foot but again it's an experiment okay great okay, okay. thank right. you well, i'm like i'm like every other guy out here and and uh i want to hit the ball farther and i was i saw online they were talking about making sure you had the right shaft and what I'm curious about is how much different shafts are going to affect the swing speed, mm -hmm. which is the swing speed controls about how far you can hit it as long as you hit it in the face, center right. of the face. So One of the factors. Right. Yes. So that's what I'm interested in. Well, the answer to that would be obviously the lighter the shaft, the quicker you should swing it the more club head speed you get, the further the ball will go. Right. So when we look at shafts, the first thing we look at is the weight of the shaft and the length. Those two factors will determine how fast you're gonna swing that club head. Mm -hmm. And that's how we go through the system. We have all these shafts here that we find the right shaft yeah. that feels most comfortable to you. Right. And, and that question you just asked leads to another everyday question, and that is why do people hit the three woods as far as their drivers yeah. and that's because they're shorter and lighter and they handle the length better and they create more club head speed at impact than the driver will. Okay. Okay. Another characteristic about the shaft is where it kicks. The lower the kick point, normally the ball is going to go higher, you get a little more spring. Okay, all right, okay. that's really good. And if, for example, Beth was looking at those offset clubs, mm -hmm. if, uh, and I know it's late and I keep reading about it, it takes four, five, six weeks to get clubs. Is it too late to get clubs for Christmas? Not at all. All the manufacturers right now will be shipping before Christmas, for sure, as long as we get the orders in relatively quickly. Uh, Tour Edge, in particular, has a, has a program which is part of their standard shipping procedure, and that is they guarantee 48 hours from the time they get the order all the way up to about the 18th of December. So we'd have them here in two days. Beautiful. So it's, uh, it's really nice for the holidays to have that. The other companies right now are shipping on time, okay. depending on what you order. Right. I know that the Callaway XR steelhead iron right now is back ordered from the sales mm -hmm. until about the 11th or 12th of December. Okay. So it, it varies from company to company. All right, so, so Christmas is in. We're here for Christmas. All right, yeah. okay, very good, yeah. very good. Well, thank you for coming by. Oh, thanks, it was a I pleasure. I really appreciate it. Some of the nicest folks at Rio Verde. I really appreciate their friendship.